Last time I claimed to be doing number eight, but I think it was number four actually that I did at the end of the hour. I think that's right. So in any case, let me like, take a look at, at, at the actual number eight. So number eight, they have to find the area between uh, the curves y equals three minus x and y equals two over x. And they have the picture in the book, but so let's go ahead and, uh, and just go ahead and uh, sketch the graph and, and work it. Okay. So to begin with, right, so y equals three minus x is just going to be a straight line with slope negative one. So that's going to be a line say, that looks something like this. So here's y equals three minus x, and then y equals two over x. Right, that's going to be a hyperbola. It has a branch in the first quadrant, and of course also in the third quadrant. But the only one we care about here is in the first quadrant. So that's going to be a, a hyperbola, so something like this. And so what we want to do in this problem is find the area that's bounded by these two curves. We want to find the area of this region. So to begin with, we have to figure out where they intersect. So let's uh, let's figure out the points of intersection. Of course, if you look at the picture in the book, you can sort of tell what the points of intersection are, but let's, let's work here without that. So they intersect where the two expressions for y are equal, right? So if we set those equal, we'll get uh, 3 minus x is equal to 2 over x. And now we just have to solve for x, so that will give us our uh, x coordinates of points of intersection, so that will be our limits of integration. So what we can do, first of all, is just multiply through by x, and we'll get 3x minus x squared is equal to 2. And so if we bring everything over the right hand side, we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then if we factor that, right, I believe we get uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So these intersect when x equals 1 and also when x equals 2. So those are going to be our uh, limits of integration. In other words, uh, this point is going to be point 1, 2, and this is going to be point 2, 1. So, our limit of integration is going to be from 1 to 2. So let's see what we get if we actually uh, find the area. Let's see. So to find the area, in this case, right, we could either take the top function minus the bottom or the right function minus the left. We could work it either way. But in this case, right, since we have y in terms of x, it's, it's easier just to do the top minus the bottom. Right? That's the usual way to do these. So let's do it that way. So to get the area, we want to take the uh, top function minus the bottom one and integrate that. Our limits are from 1 to 2. And let's see, the function on the top is the line. Right? So that's going to be 3 minus x. And then we want to subtract the function on the bottom, that's 2 over x. Okay. So let's see what that gives when we, uh, when we find that area. So now what we have to do is find the antiderivative of the function that we're integrating. So if we find the antiderivative, let's see, we get 3x minus x squared over 2. And what's an antiderivative for minus 2 over x? That's right, minus 2 natural log of x. That's right. Because right, you can think of this as minus 2 times 1 over x. And then the integral for 1 over x is log absolute value x. So we can leave off the absolute values, right? Because uh, we're looking at positive values of x. So in this case, we can just leave off the absolute values around the x here. Right? So the x, x values we're looking at are all positive. So now we just have to plug in 2 and subtract the value of 1, and that will give us the area. So if we put it in 2, we'll get uh, 6 minus 2 minus 2 ln 2. And if we subtract the value of 1, we'll get 3 minus 1 half minus 2 ln 1. And then the natural log of 1, right, that's just 0. So this term just drops out. And so we'll get, uh, let's see, this will get 4 minus 3, so that's 1 minus 1 half. So I need to get 1 half. Do you have any questions about this example? So basically, we're using 
we're integrating the top function minus the bottom. Let's look at another example. So uh, 